Yeah, we'll give it a few seconds just to get orientated here, Brad. But uh, we should do our introduction. Well, of course, Bob, people need to know who we yeah. are if they don't already. Hello, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad, I'm a physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Also, by the way, if you're watching this video when it's not live, please take a second to subscribe to us. We have a subscription button here or down below. We provide videos on a stay healthy, fit, and pain free, and we upload every day. Excellent, Bob. So, Brad, we are going to talk about three new products today. Sure. We, we find pretty exciting, to be honest with you. They I are new. Yeah. yeah, these are. These are right on the market, and uh, we have some wonderful people thinking to make some wonderful products. I'm just looking to see if anybody's made any comments yet. Please comment if you come on. You know, um, you know, we want to we want to hear from you. We want to make sure we can see them. Yeah, that's right. We're having <laughs> trouble with the comments. All right, let's go. All right, this. this is the first product, and this was a. It's called the neck free. I want to get this right. So the neck free shoulder system. And it's really for people after sh shoulder surgery. Right. You got to be in a sling of some sort. Right. And um, well, this was developed by a surgeon who actually had an orthopedic surgeon who had some sh surgery done. And the normally what you put in a sling, the sling goes around your neck. Right. It was driving him crazy. And, and that's been my experience too, Brad. He realized what his patients were going through. Right. That's exactly right. We, and I, I don't know about you, Brad, but anytime I've had people in similar things, uh, after shoulder surgery, we're treating them to you know get their shoulder back and, and rehab, but we're also treating neck pain. Right. You know, almost always because it's pulling on their neck. Right. They're wearing this thing around their neck all day long. They're not comfortable. No. So he can he took it basically he took a fanny pack and he he, he fashioned up something else uh, for himself to use while after surgery. He did what everyone every uh, ingenious person does they make do with what they have and then go from there. So this is quite a system here. It looks complicated but it's actually pretty easy once you break it down. This is the first essential part here. This is kind of the fanny part pack part of it. So what you do it was, and by the way, it's called uh, Doctor in the House is the name of the company, but the website is Doc in the House, and I got that down below. Okay. Right? It's not Doctor sure. in the House. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and we're going to strap this in. I got it adjusted for me already. All right, Brad. you're all set. Yeah. Of course, right away I get right. my shoulder in the way. But okay, so you can do it on the right side or left side. Sure. Either one. So and it's got these straps that are really marked really quite nicely, Brad, so you can actually see quite easy what to do. So the first thing you do is, this one's marked left wrist, so that's the wrong one. This is it right here. It says right bicep. Right. Right bicep. It, it, you'll be amazed because a lot of these after surgery uh, shoulder straps are very complicated. Oh. And nobody can figure out how to get it on. The nurses can't do it. The therapists are struggling. Once you get it and you've done it 10 times, you can do it. But this is easier. Yeah, so easier. you're going to go right through the strap here, going up to the bicep, like it says. And now you're going to take the arm board and you're going to put it in place here, right here. And you're going to, that can be adjusted to how ever it fits you best. Right. It's about like little, this, yeah. You can hear it. And this is, this is for the forearm, and it's got an arrow here, so you go this way, not this way. Right. Follow the arrow. And now you can see how that goes easily over my forearm. And now I can adjust my hand so that my fingers can just, you know, kind of flex yeah, over the end just easily uh, and nice and comfortably. If you want it further back, you can go like that or right. use this board. And then there's actually a, a wrist one too yet, Brad, that you can put on. And I put that, I think, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to, but I went over the board and the wrist like this. I like right that now, idea. Yeah, now right. things are just really secure in right. place. Right. Got a nice wide strap so they're not digging in. And I like the fact that you're putting the weight of the arm through your waist. Yeah. Right. Of gravity, you're not pulling. pulling on the neck, not pulling on the shoulder. Exactly. Bob. So, and this, this band here is, you know, this fits, a, I think, fits somebody with a fair amount of girth because it's sure. got a, a lot of. Uh, uh, it's all adjustable. You can't see it from there, but we got tails hanging. So, greater there. comfort, right and left shoulder for all, you know, for all body types, basically. Um, now, the other thing is they recommend as a surgeon that you should abduct the arm. For as little as 30 minutes a day, and which, which uh, abduct means is bringing the yeah show brad. All like this. So abduction is out to the side, flexion is straight in front of you. So the doctor wants that elbow out away from your rib cage, 30 degrees. This would be no, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, they want to. They can. You could go almost into full abduction even. And they're trying to prevent a frozen shoulder. Okay. Uh, and they're trying to prevent the, the shoulder from becoming too stiff. 
So uh, your doctor might even recommend more than 30 minutes a day, but at least 30 minutes a day. Right, right. So they, and they have accounted for that, Brad. So how, the way to do that is you unhook your, your system here. Okay. And now you're gonna take, this is called the big pillow. Okay. And you just go ahead and you can hook this up to the big pillow. It's all Velcro there. That's all Velcro. And you can sit down and do it like this and get your 30 minutes in this way. So you don't strap it back around. You can strap it back. Okay. Brad, I was just going to say, you can actually, it's got two straps here. I'm not going to strap that one, Brad. This is probably one of the a little easier with yeah. people. I mean, I didn't set it for that. So, see the belt right there? Yeah. There we go. And there's actually another one down below. See that? So you can, so you can really, and, and, oh, we can just leave it like this, Brad. Sure. This really would, would strap around. Yeah. Easy. And, now, and now you're into abduction. And you can walk around like that. You can put it up a little higher, too, if you want. Adjust it so, accordingly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, Comfort. they said for somebody with a, a large arm, that this may not hold them. This, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Brad. Yeah. Let's unhook here, and thank you. So if, if, if that arm doesn't get held because you're so such a big arm, you can actually take this piece mm -hmm. and you slide it in here. I was wondering what we were going to do with that. Yeah, and and then you just take this arm bar off. And you slide it in here like this, and this is going to give you the extra support. Can you see that? Oh, so you got an actual bar rail there that's going to that's give it a whole solid as yep. opposed to the cloth. Yep. Exactly. The cushion. Yep. So, um, you know, if you're interested in this device, I, I, I don't even know if they sell direct to consum consumer at all. Right. Really, I, I mean, I, I think you can go to the website. If you're about to have surgery, I tell you, I would go to, and tell my doctor about this or my therapist about it and say, hey, this is what I want to have because. Right. Um, I, after using this, I would not try anything else as far as. Yeah, if you had a worse thing in the past and you know that neck strap is not comfortable for you, this would be a good one. The other recommendation, that, yeah, Brad, I had made to him is to have maybe just a little bit of smaller one like this for people who had a stroke and not even have this part on Sure, it. right. This is a huge problem that we have with people who had strokes. They have, uh, the arm tends to sublux, right. and uh, I, every sling I try on them doesn't work. Sure. It just it just doesn't. So, all right. It's a nice product, Bob. Yep. Let's go to our next product. By the way, it comes with a DVD and a brochure, and then, uh, you know, it shows you how to do all these things. By the way. Exactly. The next product, Brad, is a knee sleeve. All right. For the Flex Pro, and it's at flexprosports.com. Okay. And... First off, you know, it, it, you have to decide, are you going to need a knee sleeve? How are, you, how are we doing, Brad? No, no comments, are we? No comments. Not viewers, but no comments. <laughs> we're doing something wrong. We still, someday we're going to figure this out. So what I like about this, you got one on, Brad, yeah, and I got one on. So because of my pants, I can't pull it up as high as I want. But this, you know, as far as sleeves go, this is really a nice sleeve because most sleeves are made out of like a needle cream. That's what this one is. And so it, the material is hot and it's, it becomes slimy <laughs> and it, it also doesn't stay up. That's probably the number one complaint about knee sleeves. They, they slide down. They slide right. down. And this, these have some really nice little grippy things in there that are just wonderful. This is the most comfortable one I've ever worn, actually. I yeah. Right on, on the end here at the top, they have these silicone beads yeah. that help hold it up in place. Okay. Yeah, until you try it, you really can't understand. Little grippy fingers. Yeah, they're grippy. They, they hold. The other thing is this is like a double knit bread. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a material that just stretches in multiple directions. Sure. Right. And it's just seriously very comfortable. You know, what are good knee sleeves are good for? They're good for keeping your knee warm and warmed up. So for an athletic event, right. you know, it can right. keep you uh, less injuries because of that. It's obviously providing compression, right? So you know, you have swelling, right? right. And, but, a little, and a little warmth if you want to keep some warmth. You know, I've been wearing this around my my calf, and if I had a strain in my calf, I wouldn't hesitate at all to use it to help with that. To be honest with you, I, I almost see that as a really good way to use this uh, knee sleep is that around the calf because sure. it's really comfortable. And it keeps the calves warm and, and, and maybe a little bit less troublesome, like as far as uh, shin splints and stuff like that. And they look nice. Now, you probably can't see it real well on the video, but these are they're nice looking. <laughs> Steve, you're not going to be embarrassed to wear shorts with this on. No, not at all. The last thing they do is they provide your knee with what we call proprioception. And that is 
when you bend your knee, you want to be able to tell where it is in space. Um, because um, <laughs> if you can't tell, um, you're more likely to injure your knee. Uh, right. That's where ACL exactly. injuries tend to happen is people that have poor proprioception, not knowing where their knee is at in space, and their knee bends and, or ex extends it right. more than it should, and then it gives them an injury. Right. And this is something that you really goes on subconsciously. You, your body knows where your, your limbs are in space. You're not thinking about it, but it's going on all the time. You know what? One of the best things about this, Brad, is it's only 10, 11 bucks. I know. Ten ninety nine. It is really. I mean, so you can't beat that. You know. I mean, you might go buy three of them and have one for each leg and a spare. There we go. Yeah. And they have three sizes. Um, you just measure uh, above the kneecap, three, four to five inches, and then mm -hmm. they, they have it on their website. You can just, just see that. Sure. So let's announce the last thing, Brad. Kind of the exciting thing. Oh right. This is, well, not that we don't you know don't want to get excited about some of these, but. Uh, we want to look at which part first here, Bob. Well, let's show the patent. Yeah. Brad and I, well, really Brad, has been awarded the patent. Actually, it, it's uh, it's been a multi-team approach. Sure. Um, but uh, here we go, patent for our product that we invented over the last, it took about five years of yeah. research, development, and a lot of uh, things that you never think about when you go to inventing a device. Right. Um, and so then this is a, we were awarded a patent, and this is what's what the, the government, official thing. That's what the government gives you. There's an official it's seal. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. And it has uh, quite a bit of information in there for a, a nice device, and they probably want to see that. I'll have to put a picture on uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Facebook there. By the way, like us on fake, Facebook if you haven't already. <laughs> You're going to say Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. This is it. This is our knee glide. This is uh, one part of the patent. We're going to make this for both legs. But if you have a knee surgery, uh, knee replacement, ACL, a stroke, all those things would be a I'll angle the camera work. down, Brad, so you sure. can maybe show it a little bit. The way it's going to work, you can use it for your arm as well. We're going to show use with the, the leg. Okay? So you got a knee replacement or an ACL. Your leg is weak, it's sore, it's painful, and the doctor says you need to get it moving. One of the common things you do is people put their foot on the floor and you can scrub back and forth with a towel and it does work kind of, it doesn't work really well. So we thought we'd come up with something that looks nice, works very well and has some options that you cannot get in any other uh, method. So as you can see here, we're getting that range of motion. Now with the ACL injury or uh, surgery, hamstring strength is critical. So this, you know, and after surgery, and Bob knows this too, this is real difficult to do, whether it's an ACL or a new knee, and you're gonna actually can maybe use the other leg to help push it. And that's where we found it really to be helpful is that it, it really helps get that extra knee flexion right. when we're working with people. We had right. a patient, Brad, that we worked with for months and we didn't get very far. We used the knee glide, it came out, and uh, we actually got her far enough that she was able to have the surgery. Okay. Um, she wasn't prior. Okay, great. Have a so, seat on there, Bob. Uh, for any therapy, I can actually do it from here, Brad. Oh. Yeah, but this. See? But I need you sitting here. Oh. I want to show the therapist something. Any, any okay. therapist out there? This is something that only a therapist can appreciate. Bob's got a new knee. Can you get that way down? Sure. Right? So if, if that knee's trying to bend, and you know if you got a new knee or you're a therapist, when you get to about this point, sometimes it's really hard, and then you're taking your goniometer right here to get a measurement, your hands are full, and the person, person's not real comfortable, but you know you got to break that scar tissue up. My foot right here. All you have to do is tweak it right on the end here, and it's amazing. It's like you want to get to that 90 degree mark, and you can easily like push yeah. and measure at the same time, as opposed to having someone else come over, you're trying to push with this arm, and you can't read the goni. For the therapist, it is. Yeah, and you can use this in a person's bed. And uh, oh, right. I think we've sold it enough, Brad. Right? Oh God, we could keep going on forever on this. Can get right. a number of other options. I want to thank all of you for watching, and we're trying to do a live uh, event every week. I know we're a little bit off on the time sometimes, but please check in. We're going to try to make these a little more interesting. Maybe give, do some giveaways in the future too. Maybe so. do some. We did dancing already. So yeah. something else. All right. Thanks a lot, folks.